this game is so fun. I hope it's not complicated like all the other RPGs. Oh look, a new item. Let's equip it. Wait, what's this? What? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's... Ah! Have no fear, fellow hero. Who are you? I'm an experienced player who- And me! As I was saying, your info screen shows your total bonuses and stats. Your damage bonus increases the base damage you do. Your health bonus increases your base health and heals you at the start of each battle. Your speed bonus increases the number of turns you have. Critical chance is the chance for a critical, and critical damage is how much extra damage that critical hit does. Evade allows you to dodge an attack, block cuts it in half, absorb adds damage dealt to your shield, and deflects you to the attack back at your enemies. Damage reduction reduces incoming damage. Damage and raise adds damage dealt to you to your enrage meter to increase the power of skill. Life skill converts damage done to enemies to health for you. Dual strike triggers the same skill twice, and empower doubles the damage of a skill. All damage-related bonuses stack, so the optimal damage output comes from balancing all your bonuses. It is also helpful to lean towards reliable bonuses such as damage and speed if your build is less consistent. Note that Dual Strike does not benefit all pets, bonuses like Crit Chance are tough to obtain, and that skills like Empower can cause overkill. The tank bonuses, however, don't stack, so it's best to focus on one. Most tanks like Damage Reduction or Block. Lifesteal and Damage and Rage are almost useless as far as bonuses go, so don't use them unless they're your only option. For help finding the optimal bonuses in build, you can use the calculator or simulation in the description below. They are compatible with everything we are about to discuss. Did you get all that? Um... Good! Rune Fragments and Mount Guts can be obtained through events and daily quests. Events include PvP, GVG, Fishing, Trials, and Gauntlets. Rune Fragments make runes and Mount Guts make mounts. It is best to craft a rare, then epic, then legendary mount. Some players choose to skip epic mounts, and others get a common mount on the way up. Try to roll a mount with a bonus that aligns with your build, and make sure to max it before moving on to the next mount rarity. There are three types of runes. Major, Minor, and Meta runes. Minor runes give bonuses that affect player experience, including XP gain, item find, and capture rate. Meta runes change meta gameplay. Major runes directly affect gameplay by giving you bonuses. It is best to get common, rare, then legendary runes. Your first priority is to get XP minor runes for each tier. Then, focus on getting major runes that suit your build. And finally, go for the meta rune that you want most. It is unadvisable to exchange most runes as you may switch your build or need them in the future. Only exchange a rune if it is inferior quality and a duplicate. The soul meta runes redirect attacks and are best for most tanks and some baits. The core meta rune increases healing on low health and is great for meat shield tanks. The Khan and Nox runes are poop. Although Khan will work if you have no other tank meta runes, and Nox's extra damage can be helpful for full power DPS builds in raids. The Chet rune drains opponents SP and is best for power builds. The Gale rune increases SP regeneration at full health. It's pretty much the only viable speed build rune, so good luck if you're going agility. It also works quite well for all other DPS characters. I guess you could say bad RNG ruins your experience. <laughs> Moving on, enchants you get pretty much everywhere, from chess to world bosses to Disney movies. As a rule of thumb, more powerful and relevant bonuses make for the best enchants. Stats from enchants are much better for progression, while bonuses are best for PvP and GVG. You will unlock more enchant slots as you level up. For more detail on which of your enchants are best, use the calculator in the video description. Wait, are you recording me? Yes. Hi YouTube! Last but not least, we have accessories. These give you bonuses and come in boxes from the shop. These things cost gems, making them quite a doozy. Go for a rare accessory from a large box to start out, and then shoot for an epic from a mega box. From there, save up gems to keep buying mega boxes until you have a good legendary accessory. Bear in mind that the guild accessories aren't that great, and that you should always go for an accessory that matches your build and current bonuses. Is that it? Yes. I need ibuprofen now. If any of you need help understanding bonuses, accessories, mounts, and runes, you have many resources at your disposal. You can check the wiki, ask a question on the BitHeroes Discord, use the calculator and simulator in the description, or simply ask me in the comments below. I have a question! What is that, my friend? Can you ask OP players to add me? <laughs>